Um, I'm Jandar. This is a Hatha for stress relief class. So it's a little slower than a more power practice. Um, I also teach a noon class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That one is Hatha for strength. And that one is a more active class, but this one, it's a little slower. Having said that, we still work here. It's not like we're just gonna take a nap, but we definitely move a lot slower and it's a more mindful practice, okay? I think it's time to begin. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, we're gonna start on our chair. Um, if you want, you can lean against your chair or stay slightly forward, especially because we're gonna do cow and cat later. So you may need some space. But for now, I want us to work on the shoulders and the neck, which you know are areas as we, I'm sure, we all know hold lots of stress and tension and we're living a very stressful time so let's focus on those areas for now so bring your hands on your thighs have your elbows in eyes open or close begin to roll the shoulders forward and held them up then roll them back and then down i'm going to go ahead and set up my timer so that i know we're not going over time and again roll the shoulders forward and held them up then back and then down following your breath we'll do three more rounds Moving with your inhales as you bring your shoulders up and your exhales as you bring your shoulders down. Two more times. <clears throat> and one more time. And we're gonna go ahead and reverse, rolling the shoulders back and them up, forward and down. Four more times. Let's see if we can go deeper for the last three. Try one more time. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale them up. Then forward and down. We're going to hug the shoulder blades in. Bring your chin to your sternum. Just let your head feel heavy. And then bring your head back to the center as you inhale. Exhale. Bring your head back. Inhale. Head to the center. Exhale. Let your right ear hang over the right shoulder. Inhale, head to the center. Exhale, bring your left ear over your left shoulder. Inhale, head to the center. Let's repeat. Exhale, bring your chin to the chest. Inhale, head to center. Exhale, bring your head back. Inhale, head to the center. Exhale, right ear hangs over the right shoulder. Right hand on the left shoulder. Press the left shoulder down, letting your head feel heavy for five, and four, and three, and two, and then one, release, hand to your leg, inhale, head to center. And exhale, bring your left ear, let it hang over your left shoulder, left hand on the right shoulder, press your shoulder down, relax your elbow for five, and four, and three, and two, and one, release, and inhale, head to the center one more time. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest, inhale, head to center. Exhale, bring your head back. Inhale, head to center. Exhale, right ear hangs over the right shoulder. Right hand on the head. And press as deeply as you like for five. Left shoulder away from your ear in four. And three. And two. And then one, release hand to leg. Inhale, head to center. Exhale, left ear over the left shoulder. Left hand on the head. Gently press the head down for five. And four. And three and two, and then one, and release, bring your hand back to your leg, head to the center, keeping your eyes open or closed. I want us to observe the breath, observe your inhales and exhales. Inhale, extending your breath into your belly, letting belly, ribs and chest expand. As you exhale, contracting your chest, ribs and abdomen, quieting the mind, finding a state of concentration that this practice feels like a moving meditation in preparation for our meditation at the end, holding still in Shavasana. If you like, you're welcome to set an intention for your practice, thinking of a word or a mantra or an affirmation to come back to. Yogi's choice. We'll take five more breaths here. We'll take three more breaths here. And one last breath. 
Then bring the hands together and prayer hands, thumbs to the sternum, sternum to the thumbs, hugging the elbows into the ribs. Let's start by chanting three arms. You can listen or if you'd like to join, let us breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. One more time. Uh-huh. Inhale. Exhale. Let's just bring the head towards the fingertips, hands to the thighs, and roll your head up. And go ahead and open your legs a little wider. Goddess pose on the chair. So you can even sit even further forward. <clears throat> legs nice and open. Turn your toes out knees and ankles aligned and we're, we're going to find eagle arms as we continue working on opening the chest and the shoulders so we're going to open the arms to the sides and i'll mirror you we're going to cross the right arm under the left arm option a grab your shoulder blades like you're hugging yourself option b back of the arms together option c twist your arms palms touch yogi's choice cow and cat inhale open abdomen chest and throat for cow exhale round your spine for cat Four more times, so moving with your breath. Being really aware of your sensations in the body, especially through the neck and the shoulders, moving accordingly. Maybe moving a little deeper for the last two rounds. And finding one last breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, we round. And inhale, let's arrive in a neutral spine. We're gonna open the arms here. Switch sides left arm under the right you can try either one of those three options this side may feel a little different you can hug yourself or back of the arms together or twist your arms palms touch eagle arms inhale open or cow exhale be round for cat four more times eyes open or close And if it is available to you for the last two, try to go slightly deeper. We'll take one more breath here. And inhale, arrive in a neutral spine. We'll open the arms and bring your hands to your kneecaps. Sufi grind and help in your belly, your chest, your throat, your face forward, hanging from your hips, moving to your right knee. Ground your spine with an exhale. Coming to your left, inhale, come forward. Moving to your right, and then come back again. Moving in the circle, making circles big or small. You'll be choice. Just two more breaths. And one last breath. We'll inhale, come forward, and once you're ready, let's reverse. Moving to your left, round your spine, exhale. Moving to your right, inhale, come forward. Four more rounds. Two more rounds. And one last round. We're gonna inhale, come forward. Again, just let your head hang here into a forward bend, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. And once you're ready, very slowly roll your head, roll the neck, roll your spine up one vertebra at a time. And let's go ahead and stand up. So I'm gonna bring my chair to the top of my mat and I'm gonna ask you to do the same. And from here, let's go ahead and move into a half forward bend. So bringing your hands to the seat of the chair, Stack your shoulders above your wrists, stack your sit bones above your heels. Notice how your legs feel. If you're rounding your spine, you might have to bend your knees. Crown of your head, reaching forward, and shoulders coming back. Holding for five, keep breathing. And four, and holding for three, keep breathing. And two, and holding for one. You can stay here longer or move your hands lower on the chair for a lower half forward bend. Bring your heels down. Head forward for five and four, keep breathing, and three and two, keep breathing, and then one. You're welcome to stay here or walk your hands lower in this half forward bend and hold for five, keep breathing, and four and hold for three 
and two, and hold for one. Let's go ahead and now come all the way into the full core bend. You can move your chair forward a little bit. You can even open your legs wider if you want more space. Let your head feel heavy. Let your neck and spine just hang and clasping your elbows for a rock doll. We'll rock from side to side and back and forth. For one more breath. And then switching the cross of the arms again. Rock back and forth, rock side to side. For one more breath. And then arriving in the center. Just let your arms hang and bring your hands back to your chair. So grabbing the size of the chair here, I want us to move into a chair downward facing dog. So if your chair happens to be hard, you can always bring a towel or a blanket or something to make your chair a little softer. Now grabbing the size of your chair, step your feet back for downward facing dog, lengthening your spine. Let your armpits, shoulders, triceps open. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Bend your knees if you have to, to allow your spine to lengthen. And I want us to walk the dog here, bending one knee, bending the other. Rocking the head gently from side to side and back and forth. Let's just take three more breaths here. Keep finding your breath. And taking one last breath here. And holding still. Now looking forward, I want us to step the right leg towards the chair. We're gonna move into Padmasana Pyramid, okay? So for a pyramid, again, your right toes are gonna to be pointing forward. The left toes are gonna to turn slightly out. You may have to stub your left or to the left a little bit. So wider stance so that your back leg is aligned to your hip, distributing the weight of your body evenly and keeping your pelvis nice and neutral here, okay? So now go ahead and keep your hands on your chair here for now. Feel your thighs lifting up. Press your left heel down towards the floor and distribute the weight of your body evenly to your front and to your back leg. Now, as we are in this half forward bend, I want us to do a shoulder opener exercise. We're gonna bring the arms behind us, clasping the elbows, grab opposite elbows with your hands, roll the shoulders back and down, and keep your back as flat as you can, while your legs are as straight as they can be. Holding for five, keep breathing. Holding for four, keep breathing. And holding for three. And holding for two and holding for one. Now go ahead and bring your hands back to your chair. We're gonna step back into a down dog before we move to the second side. So step your right foot back and take a moment or two back in this chair dog. And let's go ahead and find the second side. So looking forward, we'll step the left leg forward, preparing for another pyramid pose. So your right toes to right, to the right a little bit, turn out, I mean, somewhere between 60 to 70 degree angle. You may have to step your right foot to the right a little bit so that your right leg is in alignment to your hip. Your pelvis is pretty much neutral. And as you keep your hands on your chair for now, put your spine lengthening and feel your thighs lifting up, even distribution of your weight through your front and back leg. Press your right heel down to the floor, whether it touches or not. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that same arm exercise we did earlier for the shoulders. So clasp your elbows, try to remember which arm you had in front of the other first and switch the cross of your arms. And go ahead and hold here for five, keep breathing. And four, and holding for three, keep breathing. And two, and holding for one. Beautiful, we're gonna bring the hands Back to the chair, come back to down dog. We'll take a couple breaths in down dog. You can walk it out or hold still. For five, keep breathing. And four. And three, keep breathing. And two. And then one. Now looking forward, we'll step the right leg forward. We're gonna be preparing for trikonasana. I'm actually gonna turn my chair for this one. So step your right foot forward. Right toes pointing forward, but the left toes are actually gonna turn out, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and turn your left toes out so your left foot is in a 80 or 75 degree angle. And you're gonna keep your heels in line. So your front and back heel are on the same line. Now, your right hand is gonna be on the seat of the chair. And I want us to feel 
the left rib's coming forward, right rib's coming forward, left rib's coming back. So I may not be nearing you for this one. Go ahead and open your left arm as straight up as you can for tree konasana. Beautiful. Again, this is not a competition how low your hand can come. We want to mostly keep the chest and heart and hips open. So if you're able to, you can even bring your hand lower on your shin, but you don't want to collapse, okay? You want to imagine you have a wall behind you and your back opens to the wall. You can look forward or up, holding for five, keep breathing, holding for four, holding for three, keep breathing, and holding for two, and holding for one. And go ahead, bring your hands back to your chair, find downward facing dog again for a moment. And down dog here for a breath or two, chair dog. We're gonna go ahead and find the second side. So we're gonna step the left leg forward towards the chair, left toes pointing forward. We're gonna turn the right toes out somewhere between a 75 to 80 degree angle, both heels in line to one another. Left hand on the seat of the chair, you can bring your right hand on your hip. I'm bringing my left rib forward, right rib back, opening the heart, the chest, imagining I have a wall behind my back. And as I open my chest, my back is resting on the wall. Very nice opening here. Now, if you like, open your right arm above your shoulder. Distribute the weight of your body to your front and back leg. Now, you're welcome to stay here, or you're welcome to bring your hand on your thigh or on your shin. But you don't want to collapse, right? So again, if you have to keep your hand higher on the chair, please do. Find your breath for five. Keep breathing. And four. And three. Keep breathing and two, and then one. And go ahead, release, bring your hand back to your chair. We'll go ahead and find a downward facing dog. And you can hold it down dog or walk it out for five, keep breathing, and four, and three, keep breathing, and two, and then one. And looking forward, we're gonna walk the feet to the top of the mat for a half or bend. Exhale, hold, and then bring in your hands and your hips and hell. Come all the way back to standing. And exhale, Sama Siddhi, arms to your sides. This is a great time to drink a quick sip of water if you need to hydrate yourself. But I'm gonna turn my chair to face your direction. We're gonna be working next on yoga splits on the chair. So those poses that we just did, the down dog and the half forward bend and full forward bend, stretch the hamstrings and the trikonasana to stretch the quad muscles were all to prepare us to try the yoga split on the chair. So we're gonna go ahead and take a seat here. I'm gonna drink some water. I need to hydrate myself. And we're gonna go ahead and start on the chair for the yoga splits, okay? So I want us here to open the right leg to the right. And then we're gonna turn to the right side, because I'm near you. My front leg is in a 90 degree angle. My back leg is also sort of in a 90 degree angle slash lunge, curling the back toe. So I'm distributing the weight of my body through my front and my back leg. I'm holding onto the back of my chair. My left hand is on my left hip. We're gonna start working on the front leg first, and then we'll worry about the back leg. I want us to inhale, open the right leg up, straight leg. We call this a half yoga split. Flex your right foot, spine straight, shoulders back. And we'll hold here for five, keep breathing. And four, and three, keep breathing. And two, and we'll hold here for one. And then release and bring your right foot on the earth. We're gonna go ahead and now work on a lunge, working on the back leg. So keep your right leg the same, extend your left leg back. Imagine you have a wall behind your heel. Push your heel back. Keep your thigh nice and engaged, knee in, and spine straight, holding for five, keep breathing, and four, and holding for three, keep breathing, and two, and holding for one. And go ahead and relax your back leg. Take a moment or two here. We're not gonna get or try to get into the full yoga splits on the chair quite yet. I want us to go ahead and find a quick goddess pose, so turn towards me, opening both legs. And then we're gonna go ahead and now turn to the left side. So we're gonna do the left side. Now, 
And I'm gonna hold on to the back of my chair with my left arm. My left leg is bending in the 90 degree angle. My back leg also in that kind of 90 degree angle with my knee hanging and my right toes curled. And I place my right hand on my hip. Now, half yoga splits on the front leg. I'll inhale, open my left leg forward. Left foot flex, spine straight, shoulders open for five, keep breathing. And four, and holding for three, keep breathing. And two, and holding for one. Then release and quietly place your left foot on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and work the back leg. So finding the lunge, press your right foot back. Imagine you have a wall or something to press your heel against. Very active leg. And holding here for five, keep breathing. And four, keep pressing your back heel back for two, keep breathing. And then one, and then release and relax your leg for a moment. And then we'll go back to just goddess pose, opening your thighs and your knees here. So now we're gonna go ahead and come back to the right side and try to incorporate what we just did on the front and back leg to see if we can get into our yoga splits, which I personally, I'm still working on. It's really hard for me and I'm sure it's hard for you too. So turning to the right, keep your right leg bending, left leg bending as well, left hand on your hip. Inhale, extend and open your right leg, flex your right foot. And once you're ready to add the work of the back leg, press your left heel back. I did this earlier with a class and I also went running so I'm very tight today. But let's all go ahead and do our best. Try to keep our pelvis neutral, spine straight, heart open, shoulders away from ears. Find your breath for five, keep breathing. And four, keep pressing your left heel back for two, keep breathing. And one, very nice, everyone. And then just release, relax your legs, your feet, your knees. <laughs> go ahead, take a moment here. We're gonna go back to the goddess pose for a moment. And once you're ready, we'll move to the left side. Let's try the left side now. We'll bend the left knee, we'll bend the right leg for now. And we'll start with extending the left leg up and forward, left foot flex. Once you're ready, adding the work of your right leg, press your right heel back, trying the full yoga split, spine, straight hips and pelvis, nice and neutral. And holding for five, keep breathing, and four. And holding for three, keep breathing, and two. And holding for one. Go ahead, release, and just rest here. Very nice work, everyone. Turn to face the front. And bring your legs a little closer. So we're gonna keep the legs somewhere about hips as apart, feet parallel, and you can sit a little bit forward so that your back is not against the chair. Resting your hands on your thighs, hugging your elbows in. Close your eyes unless you really wanna keep them open, which is fine. I want us to inhale to the nostrils, and exhale to the mouth. Inhale to the nose. Exhale to the mouth. For three more breaths. Inhale to your nose. Exhale to your mouth. For one more breath. And then closing your mouth, we'll inhale through the nose. We'll exhale through the nose. And quietly, we'll open the eyes. Okay. I want us to do one more thing on the chair before we head to work on the floor. Start, starting to cool off in preparation for Shavasana. Let's go ahead and do Supta Vasindrasana, which is a seated twisting pose. So we're going to go ahead and open the arms to the sides and help. Put your arms up into an upward salute. Let your shoulders come away from your ears, palms near one another, inhale again, and then as we exhale, turn to your right side. Turn to your right, place your left hand quietly outside your right thigh, right arm on the back of your chair. Make sure that you're not leaning against your chair, spine straight, chest open, shoulders away from ears, turning your head over to your right, crown of your head, reaching up, Three more breaths left. One last breath left. And very quietly we'll come out and have our arms forward and up. 
Relax your shoulders again as you exhale. Inhale, exhale, turn to your left. Right hand outside your left knee, or left hand arm behind you on the chair. Again, make sure that you're not lifting your right glutes away from the floor for the sake of deepening your twist. Keep both sit bones, both glutes on the chair. Turn your head over to your left shoulder. Again, observe your breath. Make sure that you can breathe comfortably, otherwise you may be twisting too far. We'll take two more inhales and exhales. One last breath. We're gonna inhale, come forward, arms forward and up. One last twist. And then exhale, turn to your right, left hand outside the right thigh, right arm again on the chair. And even though we're twisting to the right, gently, softly, slowly, turn your head over to the left shoulder. Chin parallel to the floor, throat open, chest open. Two more breaths. One last breath. And quietly bring your arms forward and up. One last twist. And exhale, turn to your left, right hand outside your left thigh, left arm behind you, and turning your head over to your right. Giving yourselves four more breaths. Two more breaths. And we'll inhale, reach your arms forward and up. And very slowly, release your arms back to your sides, just around your aura. Very, very, very slowly. And rest your hands on your thighs. So we're gonna be moving now to the floor. I want us to work on bridge pose. I mentioned earlier that I would like us to use either a yoga block or anything at your home that resembles a yoga block that can be a book, a textbook, or maybe even just a blanket and you can fold it and kind of create it into a square, okay? So go ahead and just move your chair out of the way. Come to the floor. Just because I want my students to know that you can use things that you find at home as props, I'm gonna go ahead and use an old grad school textbook that I have still. Um, that is kind of the perfect shape for to use as a yoga block. And you can go ahead and do the same. I want us to start first by working on a more active bridge pose, and then we'll do a more restorative bridge pose by using the block underneath the pelvis. So when your feet flat on the mat, hands behind your legs, inhale, lengthen spine, and then very slowly roll your back down. Take your time, coming back to the floor one vertebra at a time. Once your back is on the floor, you're gonna walk your heels a little bit closer. I'm actually gonna turn the angle of the camera a little bit so that you can see better what I'm gonna do. So sorry if my camera is shaking a little bit. Perfect, okay. So I'm prepping for the bridge pose. My feet and knees are hips is apart. Arms are by my sides, palms down. My head is straight, so I want to look up. Find a spot with your eyes to focus on. Shin is neutral. And as you press your feet and arms and hands, we're going to inhale, lift the pelvis up. Lift your thighs, hips, belly up. And as you keep your pelvis up, thighs up, you can either hold onto the sides of your mat with your hands, or you can tuck your shoulder blades in and bring your hands closer together. Maybe they even interlace, especially if your arms are long enough. Holding for five, keep breathing. Tuck your tailbone in. And four, keep breathing. I'm holding for three. And two, keep breathing. And holding for one. We're gonna untuck the shoulder blades if they've been tucked, arms to your sides. Roll your spine down slowly one vertebrae at a time before we find a second round. So go ahead and walk your feet a little wider so your feet are on the edges of your mat. Relax your thighs and knees together. Open your arms like Shavasana. With your eyes closed, we'll inhale to the nostrils. We'll exhale to the mouth. Four more times. 
Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Two more times. And closing your mouth, we'll open the eyes and we're going to bring the feet again, hips as apart, knees, hips as apart. We're going to try a second round of an active bridge pose. So with your arms and hands on the ground, pressing your feet, inhale, lift your thighs, pelvis, belly up. Chest open so you can grab the sides of your mat or tuck your shoulder blades in and bring your arms, hands a little closer together. And hold for five, keep breathing. And hold for four. And hold for three, keep breathing. And hold for two. And hold for one. We're gonna untuck the shoulder blades to bending tuck. Arms to your sides. And before bringing the pelvis all the way down, grab your block or your substitute, if that's a book or whatever you're using. Place it underneath your sacrum. So not quite on your lower back, but lower on your sacrum where your glutes begin. Let your pelvis rest on your block or block substitute and find a more restorative bridge pose here. Arms still resting by your sides. You are welcome to close your eyes. Slowing down your breath. Slowing down your inhales and your exhales. Observing the rise and the fall of the abdomen, ribs, and chest as you breathe in. And as you breathe out. So make sure that as you inhale, inhale all the way down to your abdomen, letting abdomen, ribs, and chest rise. And as you exhale, feeling your chest, ribs, and abdomen contracting to your spine. I want us to take 10 more breaths here. Five more breaths. And after one more breath, we'll start coming out slowly of this supportive bridge pose. Pressing your hands and arms on the earth, lift your pelvis high enough to move your block out of the way. Slowly roll your spine down to the ground, one vertebra at a time. Bringing your knees to your heart, knees to heart, hands around your legs or arms around your legs, gently massaging your back as you rock side to side, as you rock back and forth. Rock side to side, rock back and forth. For just two more breaths, We'll finish in Supta Baya Konasana, which is a recline butterfly, and then from there we'll transition into our Javasana. So once you're ready, bring your feet on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and open the thighs and the knees. I'm gonna come a little closer. So I'm gonna bring the soles of my feet together, letting your thighs and knees open. Resting your arms by your side, like Shavasana arms are ready, palms and forearms facing up. Eyes open, looking up, find a spot to focus on, or eyes closed, looking inward. Again, observing your breath, observing the rise and the fall, the abdomen, ribs, and chest. As you breathe in and as you breathe out. Quieting the body, quieting the mind as we prepare to move into Shavasana real soon. Taking 10 more breaths here.
Taking five more breaths here. And taking one last breath. And quietly, once you're ready, extend the right leg and let it rest on the ground, on the mat. Extend the left leg, letting your left leg, your left foot rest on the mat. Legs, hips width or wider, although if it feels better on your back, Feel free to bend your legs again. So find whatever option of Shavasana you like to find. I'm gonna come out of Shavasana just to guide you through it, but you can stay in Shavasana here. You can use whatever props you like. Maybe you want to place a pillow underneath your head, or maybe you want to cover your eyes with a towel or a shirt or an eye pillow. Maybe you're feeling cold and you wanna cover yourself with a blanket or Maybe you want to roll up your blanket and place it under your knees. I just want us to feel supportive for the next couple minutes while we hold here in our final Shavasana. But you're okay without any props. I just want you to do whatever feels best, okay? Keeping your eyes open or keeping your eyes closed. I asked you at the beginning of the practice to set an intention. So if you have an intention set for today's practice, come back to it, repeat it mentally three times. And just let your body, your mind digest, take in. What we just done for the past almost 40 minutes. Let's hold here in silence and stillness just for a few more moments. Let's take five more breaths here. Whenever you feel ready, you begin to very gently wake up your toes, wake up your ankles, roll your wrists in circles to one direction, and then roll them to the other. Begin to move your shoulders up and down. Begin to rock your head from side to side. Give yourself a full body stretch, pointing your toes, flexing your feet, finding a side body stretch, reaching your arms to one direction, reaching the arms to the other direction. Coming back to the center, bring your knees to your heart, rolling to either your right or left side into a fetal position. 
And once in your fetal pose, rest your head on your arm and take a moment to acknowledge your intention, thanking your intention for bringing you to the map, for making this practice your own. Thank you so much for letting me teach you today. It's been my honor as always. Once you're ready, we are gonna slowly bring ourselves into a seated position. So I invite you to join me in Sukhasana, cross-legged seated pose here on the mat. With your legs crossed, your spine straight, your heart open, bringing your hands together to the heart in Anjali Mudra. And we'll finish by chanting one Om. You can listen or if you want to join your voices to my voice, let us breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in. Uh -huh. Inhale, hands from the heart to the forehead. Exhale, let us bow and repeating after me if you like. Namaste. As always, thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday. And if you have any questions or any comments or feedback, please let me know before you head out. Um, otherwise, I hope to see you next Tuesday. Okay, thank you so much and have a good rest of your evening.